I've talked to hundreds of people and they all admit that there is a gap between their potential and the results they're seeing in their career. How can you reach more potential? How can you do everything possible to get as close to your potential as you can? Doesn't matter what industry we're in, everybody feels that there's something that's holding them back. Sometimes it's inside themselves, sometimes it's coming from an external force. But when people can identify what's holding them back, they have more of an opportunity to reach their potential. Companies for three decades have been identifying employees who are their high potential employees. Sometimes it's their younger employees, sometimes it's just within the general range, but they'll actually create lists. 98% of large companies, of Fortune 500 companies, say that they either have a formal or an informal list of which employees are their high pose, their high potential employees. So they've been identifying these people for three decades. But Harvard went and did a study of these high po programs in the Fortune 100, and what they discovered was very interesting. The people who went through these programs 20 years ago, in most cases, are not the leaders of the company today. Why is that? In some cases, they get trained up and told that they're high potential, and they actually believe it. And so they shop themselves around and they leave the company. In other cases, they get scared. They're afraid if they take a risk in their job, they're no longer gonna be labeled as high potential. I don't think you ever reach your potential. I think there is this gap and I think it's real and it's real for me, I think it's real for you. I think people who tell me I'm totally kicking butt, I'm reaching my potential, I don't think they are. I think we all have more potential than we even know. What I suggest you do is look at where do I think my potential is? What, do, what could I really accomplish? And if you really wanna go there, build a lattice, build a scaffolding, and know that there's gonna come a point where you have to build more onto that scaffolding because your potential is gonna to continue to shift outwards. One of the most important things that your people can do if they want to accomplish more is they have to take ownership of their own life. They have to admit that all the problems that have occurred, they have to take ownership of them and admit that it's their own doing that brought them to the level where they are now. If you're trying new things, you're going to expand the amount of possibilities, you're going to expand those opportunities, and you're going to find ways to move closer to that potential. And it doesn't matter what's going on in the economy. You have potential in good times as well as you have potential in bad times. We can see all kinds of examples of where people have achieved amazing things in their career during the worst of economic times. People have to stop pointing fingers and making excuses and look for the reasons to move forward. If you're trying new things, you're gonna expand the amount of possibilities, you're gonna expand those opportunities, and you're gonna find ways to move closer to that potential. What is the paradox of potential? It's my newest program that gets your people excited about finding ways to achieve more.